I'm Martin Fleming. I am a surgical oncologist as part of the cancer team at Regional One Health. I'm the chief of surgical oncology and a professor at the University of Tennessee Health Science Center. My area of specialty within oncology is soft tissue tumors, which include uh, melanoma, sarcoma, breast cancer, and a variety of other uh, malignancies in that area. Cancer care is provided by providers all over the United States, but there's great data showing that specialists in the area of need really impact the overall outcome for the cancer patient. So if you have a patient with a breast cancer diagnosis, they need to see somebody who specializes in breast cancer, uh, both for the complexity of the actual treatment surgically they need, but also for the multidisciplinary care that really just drives complex decision making along the way. Sometimes it's, an, it's as important to know the correct sequence of treatments as it is how to do the technical operation. So whether it's breast cancer or liver cancer or melanoma or, or leukemia, I mean, you really need to see specialists that understand that disease process and how to best help the patient navigate through it. There's some very sophisticated cancer treatment options that aren't available everywhere. They're not necessarily for every patient, but when you have a patient with a specific need that the average community hospital or practitioner can't provide, we can take them to those care places that they really afford them the best opportunity for cure, whether it be a specific type of surgery or a specific type of chemotherapy or some sort of complex combination of three treatment paradigms. Uh, it allows a patient to really get the best outcomes. Well, at Regional One, we've begun a journey a few years ago, really building a cancer team that allows patients to have the specialty care that they need. We have medical oncologists, surgical oncologists, and radiation oncologists involved in the care of these cancer patients. We have multidisciplinary cancer conferences that meet multiple times during the month to talk about each patient's specific needs. And we built a team of both nurses and nurse navigators and physicians to help people navigate through the conference complex maze that can be oncology care. Uh, it allows them to be seen quickly in the clinic, it allows them to then be moved through the system expeditiously toward biopsies and then definitive diagnosis and treatment in ways that uh, a hospital without that coordinated effort just can't do. One of the things that I always tell patients is it's not our job to make them do anything. It's our job to give them all the options, the state-of-the-art care paradigms that will give them the best outcomes. And then you help them make choices. Uh, sometimes they're not happy about the diagnosis. Well, no one's ever happy about the diagnosis. But sometimes the treatment options are pretty severe and, and, and pretty life-changing. Uh, not everybody wants to do that, and that's okay. Uh, so we talk to them, we meet them where they are, we discuss what their concerns are, we help navigate through those life-changing experiences that will uh, give them the best options and give them the highest possibility for cure from their cancer and still meet within their life's expectations and life goals. Uh, I think it's really important as we care for cancer patients as they navigate these very complicated treatment paradigms. Obviously the goal when you have a cancer patient with a new diagnosis is the highest outcome for cure. Uh, bringing to bear all the subspecialties and all the specialty care possible and all the brain power that it takes to make complicated decisions for patients gives them the best outcomes, gives them the best opportunities, but also it really needs to meet them where they are and gives them the outcomes that makes them happy about the life you've given them back. Uh, if the treatment paradigm cures them of their cancer but leaves them in a situation that they find untenable, then we haven't really helped them. So we have to balance those goals off each other and bring to the patient the best opportunity to have cured their cancer and a quality of life that meets their goals.